bitches, I'm back and better than ever. A better than ever. A better, 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 better than ever, 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 ever better. I'm doing a do's and don'ts tutorial. What you do on your face, what you don't, and do half and half. So if you guys want to continue to watch, please keep watching. So the first thing you need to do on the right side of your face is apply primer on your problem areas. And then on the other side, don't apply primer. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is do not put on a foundation color that is not your shade. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this foundation and I'm going to be buffing it into the left side of my skin with a brush. I don't recommend using a brush because the beauty blender is where it's at, but OMG. So, yep. So this is the first half, um, which I don't recommend you doing, but I do recommend you getting your face um, actual, you know, color. Okay, great. My beauty blender was under my butt, so it's uh, definitely a flat beauty blender now. Great. Okay, so now you're going to put your actual foundation color or something that's not this color if you're my skin complexion. This color is a beautiful color but it's just not my skin tone. So, what you wanna do is do your skin tone, but what you wanna do even more, even if it's not your skin tone, drag it down to your neck and on your ears and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. And blend. And blend. Even when we were sleeping, if it gets tiring, because, come on y'all. Just keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending. Okay, so the next thing you don't want to do is fill in your eyebrows where they look really fake. So, I'm going to show you what you don't do. OMG. it just doesn't look good but if that's how you like it I guess do it I don't really know but I recommend you don't do it thank you and so now I'm gonna zoom in to show you what you really do not do need to do oh god here I go can I reach my camera no I can't okay so what you do want to do is go in lightly with your eyebrows Lightly just make them look, you know, decent at least, not like that. But that is something that you really should do, should not do, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't. Do, don't. A nice blending brush. I'm out of focus. Great. Take a blending brush and blend in like a nice shade. even go in with like a darker shade and go into the crease even more but just blend it out and then what you shouldn't do like I highly recommend that you don't do this so please please don't do it is take a really dark shade you do not want to do this do not take a dark shade without setting a transition color first and don't use a humongous hand like this like don't go in heavy-handed because that shit right here looks like caca okay I look like a fucking orange like 
I'm from Florida, the Sunshine State, the Orange State. Like, what the fuck is this? A like small, not small, but like longer wing. Oh shit, I messed up on the good part of the video on this eye. You don't want to take your eyeliner too high up on your eye. Ready? Oh shit. Like that. I know people who have eyeliner like this and yes, it makes me cringe, but I'm not judging. So I feel like if they want to do that, they can. But this is a do or don'ts video. But this shit's just not okay, you know? I just don't think you should do that. <laughs> And then I'm going to show you what you should do with mascara and what you shouldn't. So, for me, I'm just gonna coat them lightly. For the next eye, you're gonna coat them like you're really fucking cold. Like you're just gonna keep going and it's really bad. Like clumpy eye makeup is like, oh. Did y'all hear that mascara is batshit because I heard it was, but I don't believe it. So tell me what you think because I don't fucking know. Or yeah, I can just Google it, but. And you don't want to not clean, like, you know how people do the mascara and it goes like that? That is just horrendous. Do what you don't do. Okay, on this side. That is really overlining it, pals. For real. It's just not something I think you should do. Then a natural looking overline is looking like this. Let's see if I can do it. Cause sometimes I fuck up like every other human being. It looks bad, so great. <laughs> Huge part of the video, and what I often see is this. When people contour, they take a really dark shade. For my skin complexion, I cannot do that because it will look like this. Okay, give me a second. You know what I look like? I look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. There's something I look like, but I can't put my finger on it. But can I put my toe on it? Or my nose on it. I'm just playing. Corny. What you should do is go lightly and and bronze up the skin. Take it personal, baby. If you're moving on with someone new, which you probably will. If your makeup looks like this, when you apply blush. For this type of look, you need to do a light blush. So just this dandelion, and just smile cutely. You do a blush that isn't that color, it's gonna look a little like this. Don't apply too much. So what I'm doing is wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, so don't use a skin tone darker than you. This is way darker than me. Don't apply too much blush. Don't have a clumpy mascara. Don't lift your wing up too high. Don't make a huge brow. And just try not to do it, please. This one is decent. Definitely, I feel. Way better than this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and your bitch will be back next week. Your bitch will be back next week. Hey, your bitch will be back next week. Hey.